So this lesson is all about finding patterns in the multiplication table. So when you're looking for patterns, the first pattern you need to notice is that this multiplication table, it has all 10 single digits uh, on the top and down the side. That's because when you, uh, when you take one of these single digits on top and you multiply it times one of these numbers on the side, the answer is going to meet where those two numbers meet inside the table. So if you have one group with one in each group, well, you, you just have one. But if you have one group with two in that group, you got two. One times two is two. Now, if you have, let's say, uh, five, uh, let's say four groups of uh, with five in each group, you're going to have 20. So that tells you that four times five is 20. Now, we have already covered multiplication in that in you, when you have 20 of anything, and you see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. We already know how to count by fives. We know that if you count five four times, you're going to get 20. But what I want to make clear is that multiplication, it's not, uh, it's similar to repeated addition, but it's a shortcut. It's taking a number and showing groups of them. So here, you can have four groups with five in each group, which is four times five, or you could say you have four in each group and five groups of them. Now on the multiplication table, you're going to see that there's a four and a five, which meets at this 20, but there's also this five and this four, which also meets at 20. So this table shows you how many different ways you can multiply two factors to get a, um, a product. Now there are other patterns here that I want to talk about. For example, uh, twos are easy. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If you read all of the factors of 2 across, you're going to see that you get all even numbers um, as far up as you can go. Now if you start from the column uh, from the top here and you count down 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, you see the pattern exists there too. So this table shows the pattern twice for every number. Now twos, those are easy. Fives, those are easy. The pattern I want to make sure that my students understand and recognize is that the threes and the fours, those are new this year and these are really important. And here's why. 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. All you're doing is counting by threes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But here's why it's important to know your threes. Because when it comes time to learn your sixes, if you know your threes, you can quickly learn to uh, practice memorizing if you know your threes. Because notice what happens uh, when you're counting threes. Three, six, 9, 12. Because you can count by threes, you can already count by twelves. And from 12, if you count up three, that's 15. If you count up another three, that's 18. So if you count by sixes, 0, 6, 12, what's the next six? 18. So if you know your threes, you know your sixes. And just like that, you can do the same thing with fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So if you count by eights from 0 to 8 to 16 to 24, if you know your fours, you know your eights. So that, that's a really important pattern to notice. So you have even numbers, you have uh, threes that are the same as sixes, fours that are the same as eights. Um, there are uh, different ways of lining up factors to get products. And I should just write this down here, that these are the factors and these are the products.
in here. All right, so factors along the top, factors along the side, and products in the middle. And those are some of the patterns that you're going to be working with in lesson uh, in this lesson.